What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. This is episode 54. We got a Walmart truck. Our Walmart trailer. I believe this is a... I think it's a... I don't think it's a 53 footer. It may be, I'm not sure. Normally it says 53 on the side. I think it's a shorter one. But um... We're taking this to from Fresno to Truckee. Figure we deliver. Figure we go over there. So let me get back in my truck here. Of course, it's gonna move. I don't know why. Oh, tug test. That is this button. No. That is what button is it? <laughs> right there. We are connected. All right, let's get on the road. So I wanted to go over some things um, that I didn't get to go over in my last video because it was relatively short. I mean, this one's going to be relatively short as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. See what happens when you um, sit too close to the... When you're not paying attention, I sit close... I sit too close to the, um, I'm sitting too close to my desk, so I was trying to move it backwards by kind of jumping backwards, but you saw how that worked out. Uh, we're making a left turn. So let me start over again by saying I didn't really get to get to, I didn't really get to go over anything in my last video because... The video was relatively short. Um, this one's going to be relatively short as well. It's only 266 miles. Um, I was looking for longer jobs, but the longer jobs were not stuff I wanted to take. Like um, the big old three pivoting points on that or actuating points on the scraper, which was to Eureka. I wanted to go to Eureka, but that was the only job to Eureka, excuse me, as I take a drink. Um, so I didn't want to go there. Well, I wanted to go there, I just didn't want to go there with uh, what I had. Get off the phone! Gosh! So... Um, I guess I went, well, I know I said this in my last recording, which was about, uh, the last video I up, I uploaded, which was about, mm, about five hours ago, I want to say. I knew that because I wanted to get home and start recording again. Um, I had everything set up. Just so when I got home, I knew I was going to start recording. Instead of coming home, I know I'm going way off topic, but I'm probably going to forget what I was talking about before. But instead of coming home and getting into my normal routine of, um, like, giving myself all the medicine I need to take. I mean, I do give myself all the medicine I need to take, but, um, you know, just get in the, just start eating something and then watching YouTube videos. I wanted to get home. I had already my will and my my gearbox and everything was all set up so I knew I wanted to come home and do this so so when I got home everything was set up. I threw everything out the window. What I, what I normally plan on doing, I said, you know what, I'm going to sit down and record as much as I can for as long as I can so I can get a bunch of episodes up so that's what I planned on doing when I got home and that's what happened. I just went out to go get something to eat, got something to eat, came right back home. What I did notice is, you know, I, I noticed a lot of things my, on my way home, but I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, so, you know, I wanted to go to Eureka, from Fresno to Eureka, because that's a pretty good long drive, or to Hornbrook, which is also a pretty long drive. Um, but everything that was going there was stuff I didn't want to take. 
like I said, the actuating trailers. Um, there was something else. Uh, I don't remember, but I didn't want to take it. Um, it must have been another pivoting trailer or something. It was something that I did not I did not want to take. So, so I uploaded. So what I was getting at was in my last recording. I said it was Thursday, and I'll upload it on Thursday night. Turns out it's Wednesday, and I'll upload it on Wednesday night. Didn't get to it. Uh, I put a little in my in the in the section below. I put of that video. I put sorry I confused the days. My bad. So today is actually well, it's going to be Thursday morning. It's going to be midnight. But I thought for some reason it was Thursday, like Thursday night. Turns out it was only Wednesday night. So I might have confused my viewers thinking I recorded it way before I did. But hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you guys will read the section below of the other video, uh, episode 53, and will understand. So on my way home. I noticed a lot more vehicles with their bright lights on. I don't know what is happening. I don't know what's going on. But everybody has a tail uh, has a headlight out and they're using their their uh, brights or they're just using their brights and they just don't have any idea that their brights are on. I don't know how you have any idea your brights are on. I'm not saying that everybody has a newer car, but my car will let me know if I have my brights on. It'll have a little ding that'll go off and be like, you know, it'll show up on my inf my driver information center in the center where my speedometer and stuff is. And it's not even that new newer of a car. It's a 2012, but it, it'll still pop up and say something. So, you know, I'm not saying everybody has a newer car, but most of the cars that I see with their bright lights on are newer vehicles. They're not old school vehicles. They're not vehicles from the 90s. They're, you know, vehicles that you would expect that are like 2014 and up that you would expect it would have some light to indicate, hey, the brights are on, unless they stole the vehicles. I don't know. I'm talking about the older vehicles. If they stole them, the headlights would be popped on or something. That's what I heard. I don't know if that's true or not. I've never done that ever before in my life. Ever. For the record. I did start a car with a screwdriver in my auto shop class in high school. We would listen to Howard Stern on the radio. It was the only one car that was working inside of our auto shop class, and it was like a 1996 Chevy Blazer, which at the time was like, you know, an old vehicle. Um, so, that's the only time I started a vehicle with the screwdriver. Hey, a Dodge Charger! So, and then another thing I wanted to get to was, remember when I said that Jazzy Cat's traffic packs, he, or Jazzy Cat must be, must love Crown Victorias. That's not true. SCS must love Crown Victorias, the old wannabe police cars. Because I noticed when I took out Jazzy Cat's on my other profile, when I took out Jazzy Cat's um, uh, pack, that the cars that the Crown Victorias wannabe looking cars were still there. So whoever created this, I mean I know who create, SCS created this game, but I don't know, those cars must be very uh, unique to whoever or to SCS because uh, or, the, or the guy must have like a wannabe cop car and like to scare people, so he wants to just put, all, put them all in the game. And they're not always on the road. They're always just parked somewhere, which I find interesting. You don't see a lot of them 
in fact, you don't really see see Crown Victoria police interceptor car CBPIs. I'm gonna slow down here. You don't really see those driving around. You see a lot of. see a lot of the they're all parked at like the 7-elevens and the walmarts those little when we go do the drop-offs at the 7-eleven or the walgreens the little small ones the ones that i hate where you gotta if you got a really long trailer you gotta back up right against the wall and there's always a cvpis parked all over the parking lot that's the one i'm talking about So I've been driving that this until this entire time. I haven't been using cruise control, but it, the turbo kept coming on and off and on and off. It sounded like, whoa, I was going to go. It sounded like I was using cruise control, but I have, have in fact not been using it. Just had my foot on the pedal the entire time. Why did they take off so fast is what I want to know. And he's got 6,500 pounds of plows. But still, uh, which way are we making a left up here? Is the road curving? No, we're making a left. 30 miles an hour. Been trying to maintain the speed, Just keep it around 55, not be going like 70 like I always do. So there should be those yellow boundaries up here because I'm not allowed to go that way, only they are. And there's not. Whoa! Brakes. The boundary must be further on down the road. Because I can't see them from where I'm at, but apparently. But I can't go straight for some reason. I'm sometimes still having the problem with my gear shifter. I don't know if I'm trying to do it too quickly or whatever, but going from what would be fourth to fifth, I'm having a little issue um, going into the gear. Drop down to what would be fourth, way too high way too low of a gear. Using the and using the hazards don't work anymore to slow vehicles down. Um, I wish they were still using that because I mean I wish they didn't they didn't fix that bug because that would be awesome. You know, because sometimes you need the hazard lights on when you're getting onto a a uh, free uh, like an on ramp like that one is, they need to rescale the game once again. I, I believe they went from 120 to 135. Maybe maybe go you know a little bit, or did they go 135 to 120? No, I think they went up. Up. Not sure. But they need to go, they need to make the, the, the on-ramps bigger. And I don't know if that would help. I think it would just make everything longer. But I don't know if it would make the drop-offs longer. I mean, not the drop-offs, the roadways. That's a good thing that he got out of my way. back to 55. People wonder why they why I slow down right there and that's because it's a work zone. Um, or why you're supposed to slow down right there. Not because I slow down right there. Because I normally just keep it going unless there's somebody in front of me where I have to slow down for. So I'm going to crank out as many episodes as I can here tonight. Get off the phone! Jeez! Let's get over. And you notice when I picked up the uh, this particular 
truck, I had already had the truck connected because I backed up and went forward about 400 times. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I did go back and forward about three or four times. More than usual. Actually, not more than usual. The usual. But I didn't want you guys to have to painfully watch me back truck up over and over again. So I don't know if we've discovered Trucky uh, in this episode, or in this particular um, profile. Actually, I think we did. I'm, I'm thinking of the other profile, the 1.28. Because we kept discovering new cities in that one. Could be, could not be. Guess we'll find out as soon as we get off the off ramp and start driving into the city. Because I remember at one point we were, we drove around the lake, but I believe that was a different version. Drove around the lake, it was raining. Yeah, not entirely sure. But I did take, I did turn down, it was on high, my uh, field of view in the rear view mirror. It was on high, I turned it down to medium. Um, I turned a couple other things down to medium. A lot of stuff is on ultra. I left some of the, most of the stuff that was on Ultra, I left that alone. Uh, we are going slow. There's only like two or three things on Ultra, like the, the detail of the rain, or the rain texturing of the rain or whatever it is and then the texture of the landscape is on ultra and then uh, I believe my looking in front of me is on high if I wanted on ultra I could see things that are really far away like mountains won't start to form in uh, right now since we're going through Oh, it's kind of pulling me a little bit to the right, but... When we're on a flat desert road, normally, you'll see mountains start to form themselves. So if it was on Ultra, uh, you would see the mountains from further away then, and they would draw themselves in. And then anti-aliasing is on the highest setting. Most of everything that I have is on the highest setting. And they also have this other mod that I'm thinking about putting in, but I'm thinking about waiting until 1.28 comes out. And that is the real roads. Because not all roads are as smooth as these are. Um, they got patches in them, potholes. Um, you know, most of these roads that, you, that we drive on are pretty, you know, they're almost the same once you get, when you're on the freeway. Once you get off the freeway, they tend to change color, but so it'll go from gray to a black texture. Let's see here. Nobody. There we go. Yeah, we haven't been here yet. Although I remember Trucky. If you go right or you go straight, you'll go around the lake.
just kidding. <laughs> There is a drop off, way out, uh, it's a cat drop off, way out that, uh, straight, straight out there in the middle of nowhere. So, where are we going? Oh, Olo. Let me see. I like how it does that, uh, it skips. I mean, if you if you're not hitting the gas, it's not going over the uh, curb. So let's look backwards, like that. So it is right next to. We are going right next. I'm just trying to do too many things at once. We are going right next to the building, so I'm gonna pull all the way in for this one. a car I want. If they would if they would make a newer model of this car right here. A Dodge Magnum. That would be so awesome. I love those cars. A lot of people don't like them, but I, I for some reason have a thing for those cars. I love the suspension detail that they put into this game. I just remembered what I was going to do that I haven't gotten around to doing, which was turning trailer. Um, did I hit that? Or was that it's just a sound? Turning my trailer stability all the way down. And I believe. I was going to do that. It does something for for something, but I'm not exactly sure what. It might have to do with physics or something, but... Hey, buddy, how you doing? Yep. How's work? Great. That's awesome. Running over the curve. The cone, I meant. Oh, there's a trailer next to it, so... I'm not paying attention. Oh, this isn't gonna be fun. Where's the pole at? Uh, I might have to do a pull-up. We'll see here. Really? Won't let me jump the curb? Out of all the things, it won't let me go over the curb? Alright, let's see how... Wow. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna make this one on this attempt. Because we are pretty close to the building. Yeah, let's pull up and try that again. I gotta get closer to here. And swing it around. Closer we to the hitting the curb that won't let us jump over for some reason. That's not good. Okay. Am 
hitting? Am I really hitting the curb? Trailer? <laughs> oh, I'm hitting the trailer. I was like, that could not be the curb. Attempt number three. Just clear that, please. I'm like jackknifing this thing and it still doesn't want to turn. How about right here? Oops, wrong way. Try that again. Not much talking, too much uh, concentration, <laughs> too much concentrating to make sure I'm not going to nail that wall. Where's my number five? I think we got it on this one. Alright, let me go back to my inside view because I can't see nothing through the uh, other view. Let me try and straighten this thing out here. I'm turning my head as if I can actually move my head and uh, as, if, as if I can move my head to see more clearly to the left. We are really close to that wall. That's all I know. And when I say close, yeah, super close to that wall. That's not really making a difference. It's like a 20 minute backup. It's like a 20 minute drive to get there and a 20 minute backup. One more. I cannot get this truck to turn. Uh, the truck, the trailer. I mean, it turns right there, but, well. See how funky this looks. Pretty close to that wall. We're way close to that wall, but I'm gonna take it. You know, I w you know what I wish they had, and I'll tell you shortly. Excellent. 263 miles, 5 hours, 45 minutes, 36.1 gallons consumed. $25,278 with 1,192 XP. Let's get back over here. 
I wish they had legitimate um, backup places. Like, and what I mean by that is, um, like, you know those cushions that they have on, like, if you go to, like, a grocery store, you can, like, push it up against the cushion instead of leaving it, like, two or three feet short of the door. Like, push it all the way up against the cushion. But I think that's asking way too much of this game. So, with that being said, we need to go sleep. Check off our parking brake. Make sure we don't roll backwards. Our truck gets great fuel economy now that we have everything um, up to the top as far as fuel economy goes. go again. Not sh not really sure of what gear I'm in. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> See? Ah. I think it's just me being not really confident in which gear I'm in, and that's why I go from fourth to... Whoa, there's not much parking here, but I gotta sleep. I pull in for the first time ever. Wake up, 3.35 a.m. Actually, no, I'll keep it off. I know you wouldn't really start your truck like that, but... Start your truck and then... What is that noise? Sounds like... Static. Sounds like some sort of static, and I don't know where it's coming from. Well, anyways, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that little notification bell icon. It'll let you know anytime I have a uh, new vehicle. No, a new video coming out. Uh, and thank you all for the support. I appreciate it. Peace out.